Hello Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome to your reading, What's Next in Love? We're going to be having a look to see what new chapters, new people, new romances or um, next big things are coming up for you in your love life. So if you're a Gemini, Aquarius or a Libra, this reading can be applicable to you because um, we are looking at air energy. So if you do have air placement in your chart, um, in your uh, natal birth chart, then this reading can be for you. So I'm going to be using my Prisma deck um, and we'll give the cards a good shuffle and see what's coming up for you in love. Okay, what's coming up next in love? Okay, Gemini, you've come up here um, as the lovers. This is very powerful. This can be a soulmate twin flame relationship. Some of you are walking away from a very significant relationship. Um, it may be with a Gemini or a Leo. Uh, so far, that's what's come up in the cards. Okay, so um, I get the sense that there is... A relationship that you're actually going to be walking away from and moving on from um, now there is a page here so a lot of a lot of what I'm sensing is is that uh, there could be some sort of connection around you that's either it's not fulfilling you in what you want um, and you may be leaving that behind uh, it could be with someone younger or someone who's not understanding what it is that you want from a relationship okay and it could be that this person is not giving you what it is that you're wanting or there's um there is something either immature or uh, something that this person hasn't yet experienced and i feel for a lot of you you're actually leaving that behind okay there's this you've got the um where was it the four of swords this could be like walking away from from something or from someone and I feel um, you've, you've given it your all, okay? So it's not something you're wanting to necessarily leave behind. You have given a lot of energy into this relationship and this person. But I get the sense that you've reached, you've, you've had a lot of highs in this relationship and you've had a lot of dips and a lot of lows. A lot of times where you felt the Eight of Swords energy and you're ready for new love and you're ready for a new connection. And the cards are certainly indicate indicating there is a beautiful new relationship coming to you um, in the form of the lovers card okay so this is really powerful it may be more for those that identify as a gemini um but look at the lovers here in this deck okay we see the dancing couples um what i get is that some of you air signs your I double dating. Okay, there's a lot of double dating coming up. Um, there's a new love interest that could be coming in around you and it's either through your friends. Um, it could be like your coupled friends trying to set you up, trying to hook you up with someone. Okay, so maybe they know you've been single, you're on the prowl, you're recently divorced or you're recently separated from someone and they're trying to do you a bit of a favor and, um, you know, get you, get you, um, get you into a new attraction. Okay, the Knight of Wands is a new attraction. So, I feel there is someone new, someone that you're going to be attracted to, um, and they're coming up with fire energy. So again, it could be someone younger, again, this youthful energy to them, which I think you'll really adore. Uh, but I think it's going to like either be tied into travel somehow, or this person is coming from further afield. And that's how you're connecting. And it's it's a little bit steamy, okay? Knight of Wands, this person is quite adventurous. And they're going to be fulfilling, you know, a lot of your desires. They're going to be coming on really strong. So I get the sense that you're either in a very strong vibration currently. If you are leaving behind something, you've got this amazing strength to, or amazing faith that you will find something again. Um, it could be a new beginning or a new chapter with a Leo or a Gemini female male coming in. Uh, the Knight of Wands shows me that there is, uh, sorry, the Knight of um, Knight of Cups. See how he's like riding this emotional wave. It's either you've been on this emotional wave in the recent past, air signs, you know, you've been dealing with a lot of highs and lows, and it's almost like you're stopping that, and you're coming into, the fact that it's an image of a peak um, shows me that there is going to be someone that will have you very distracted, but I sense it's going to be in a good way, and I sense that this person is somehow going to activate your emotional 
pressure points, if that makes any sense. It's almost like um, they're going to know how to act around you or, you know, a lot of what they say or what they do, it's going to appeal to you. And, you know, I consider it as like an, a wave of anticipation. So um, it's either you've got a huge emotional roller coaster coming your way, or there's a really strong um, emotional attachment that's making itself to you. Um, and I think for a lot of you air signs that have been in doubt, if you've been in that eight of swords and you've sort of been um, trapped by your own thoughts, okay, you've been sort of unsure about if you're going to find love again, or, you know, you've sort of been timid, or you've been bullied, or you've been hurt, and you've sort of like, just feel like you've wanted to retreat, just like be alone. A lot of you are going to do that, and it's going to give you healing, okay? So, um, for some, that is the best course of action for you, um, air signs, okay? If you have felt you've sort of, you're closed in, you want to be alone, you don't feel like dating, um, that's okay because the Four of Swords is like a period of reflection. So maybe um, what's coming up next in love is this either getting more in touch with yourself, okay, your aspirations, working on yourself, losing the weight, um, starting that business, you know, reading reading a book you've always wanted to read, um, setting yourself a goal, um, you know, whatever it is, there's a lot of internal things that you're going to be working on that are essentially going to help you heal and are going to help you grow. And like I said, Four of Swords is a period of reflection. Um, but notice how these swords are missing in the snow. They're either like missing or they've been like um, dug into the snow so deep because of their heaviness. It makes me think that something either has become too heavy for you, air signs, and you need to reflect on that. That's what the next chapter in love could consist for you. Or it's like the swords and uh, the swords are not there and they're missing. So you're, there's something that you're missing in your current relationship. Or if you've been single for quite some time, if you have been missing a relationship, you know, the company of someone, um, being intimate with someone, going on dates, getting to know each other, building a life together, you're going to be chasing the things that you feel are really missing in your life. They're going to be more clear to you than ever before. And I don't know if it has anything to do with that reflection or like you strengthening yourself, your skills, uh, or like become, coming on this high wave. I feel like ultimately you're going to ride the wave and you're going to start to see what you really want out of life, especially in your love life. So I get the sense that you're about to get a lot more clarity. Now, the lover's card can also indicate a lot of communication coming in around you. So I'm sensing that the next chapter for a lot of you is going to involve a lot of communication between yourself and, and, and romantic interests. Now, for some of you, it could be that um, an ex comes back into the picture and starts communicating. Uh, for others, it could be like you unblocking or someone else unblocking you. Um, it's almost like the channels of communication are going to be open or it's you or someone you've been dealing with is going to be like, okay, let's, let's talk about this. Let's work things out. Let's talk through what we've got going on. So this is a good sign because it reflects positive communication, you know, making progress and reflecting on areas and things where you could have done better or that person could have done better as well. So I get the sense that it is a lot of like self vibration, uh, self reflection and, you know, I, I do feel like someone, notice how we see like these, uh, what are they, um, these sort of like tentacles emerging from the water and he's like so far away from it. So it makes me think that something you've been avoiding, something that's been fearful or scary for you to confront or to talk about air signs, you're going to come into a place where you'll be ready to discuss it and, and you're going to be more open about these things. Um, so that's really fantastic to see. I think there's there's a lot to do with progress here. Um, now, the, now the nine of wands can be seen as like trying to be protective or even a little bit suspicious. I'm seeing that for some of you, you're potentially coming into a possessive or a lack of trust energy. Okay, and I say that because you can see that nine of wands. He's sort of He's disguising himself. He's trying not to be noticed. He's He doesn't want to attract too much attention to himself, yet he's trying to camouflage. So I get the sense that you're either disguising a relationship maybe, or you're trying to hide a relationship. Some of you might be having secret affairs, or you might be meeting someone new, but you're not telling other people about it. It's going to be on the hush-hush. And some of you, it could be something completely different. 
as in you're going to find yourself more protective. Maybe you've been noticing sneaky behavior in your connection. Um, it could also be that you're engaging um, in sneaky behavior as well. So um, there could be something here for some of you that is, you know, sort of trying to camouflage something. So it could be, uh, what comes to mind is, it could be that's you. Um, it could be that you're trying to palm off something not as a relationship or not romantic. Like, I don't know if this is a friend zone dynamic type thing and someone's like, you know, all your friends are like, oh my God, he's obsessed with you or like, she's so into you. And you just sort of palm it off and you're like, mm, no, we're just friends or, you know, oh yeah, you know, we hooked up once, but it's nothing now or she's got someone or I'm not her type, you know. It's either you're brushing it off, could it be denial in a sense, maybe, but it's like you're brushing it off and saying to yourself, you know, you're disguising it. And I want to know why you're doing this. Is it because you have no belief? Is it because you're fearing that, you know, is this, is this real? Is, you know, it, it would be too good to be true. Like, are you attaching some sort of like unrealism to it? Or disbelief maybe to it um but you know you are coming into that strength vibration beautiful major arcana card to have the lovers and strength um because i think that if you do have someone like that and you're wanting to know how they truly feel about you this could very well indicate that this would be a wonderful time frame for you to approach this person because um, the strength card is confidence and the strength card is sort of like let's get it all out there in the open I've got nothing to lose. We either go at this or we don't. So um, it's like a bit of a like a take it or leave it energy. So I I like that. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be the fuel that sort of gets you over or gets you into sort of propels you into this next chapter in love. So I'm um, super exciting though, air signs. I will leave it at that. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'm sure we'll be in touch very soon. Take care everyone and bye for now.